it involves tiling or covering of a flat surface using one or more polygons, polygon types. Um, to answer these types of questions, to determine the measure of each interior angle and see if an exact sum of 360 degrees can be achieved let me just focus one more time yeah that's okay So tessellations, I know you, you will probably have seen in junior high, you probably work with tessellations, right? You probably had fun with it, as your teachers would have called it. And so um, we will, uh, I will just add here, sometimes you will have to determine the correct, the combination of polygons that will allow you to tile the floor. Do the following tessellate. And now we're just going to do one shape at a time. Pentagons. Can you tile a floor using? nothing but pentagons. And we will find the interior angle. Okay, that's what we'll do. So that would be five minus two times 180 over five 3 times 180 divided by 5 gives you 108. Okay. 
then I divide 108, sorry, divide 360 by 108, I should say. Divide three, and I'll show you why. So we'll go 360 divided by 108, and you get 3.333, and that just keeps going. And then we conclude, since there is no exact number of pentagons, that can give a 360 degree angle, comma, you can't tessellate using pentagons, can't do it. Hand is the underlined. Okay, so what about uh, hexagons? We know that the interior angle of a six-sided shape is six minus two times 180 divided by six, and that's 120. So we'll go 360 divided by 120, that's exactly three therefore can tessellate. Because you get a whole number out of it. And I'll give you a visual in a bit. Okay. I'm opening my software here. I'll just do one more example. I'll do it on the back side so we have enough room because I'll do three shapes at a time. Right now it's like what if you only had hexagons we find the interior angle of the hexagon, we, we divide it and we get exactly three. If you use three every time, groups of three, it would work. Okay. See, using regular, and they have to be regular, regular triangles. squares and hexagons. Would you be able to do it with those three shapes? And I allow you to, like if you have your study sheet or, or if you just remember, you know that the interior angle of triangle, of a regular triangle, that'd be an equilateral triangle would be 60 the interior angle of a square would be 90 and the interior angle of a hexagon we already discovered, we already calculated that that's 120. You have to use each shape once 
right? You have to use at least at least each one of these shapes once, and then you can keep going until you eat up the whole 360 degree. And I'll give you a I'll give you a visual in a bit. Okay, right now just write it down. So I'm gonna go 360 <clears throat> minus the 60, right? This is a triangle, and you get 300. Then I'm gonna go minus 90. That's a square. That gives me 210. I'm going to subtract the hexagon. <clears throat> and that gives me 90 degrees. So this is what, what is left. If you were to use a triangle, a, a square, and a hexagon, you still have 90 degrees left to cover. And there it is. The square will do the trick. So minus 90, which is the square, you're left with zero, that's what you want. Want zero degrees left, okay? <clears throat> so we've just answered two things. Yes, you can tile a floor using these three shapes and also the combination, okay? Yes, I'm finishing after this. You can tessellate using uh, one one triangle, two squares, and one hexagon. You have to use a combination of that every time. And let me just show you. <clears throat> I guess before I before I leave, do the uh, uh, review. And the chapter test. And chapter test is on page 36 to 39. Booklet. Okay. Uh, there's a chapter test at the end, and I will post the answer key to that as well. So when we come back, we will only have one or two days to review, right? Let me give you a visual before we leave, please, if you don't mind. I'm just going to...